In this video, we will introduce graphs. A variety of real-world data is best represented as graphs, which are composed of a set of nodes and a set of edges. The nodes represent objects and edges represent relationships between these objects. So let's look at some examples of graphs. In a social network, the nodes may represent people and edges may represent their friendships. The internet can also be represented as a graph, where the nodes are IP addresses and edges represent the communication links between these nodes. A subway network is also naturally represented as a graph, where nodes represent subway station and edges represent routes between these stations. Graphs also have their place in physical and life sciences. For example, in a molecular graph, nodes represent atoms and edges represent chemical bonds. In a protein-protein interaction network, nodes are proteins and edges describe interactions between these proteins. Yet another kind of graph is a triangular mesh of a surface like the one seen here. This is a geometric graph where nodes are positioned in three-dimensional space and edges are the lines connecting these points. From these examples, we can conclude that graphs are a natural way to describe interconnected objects that show up in a wide variety of domains. When it comes to machine learning tasks, methods that can make use of graph data structures are very important. This is simply because utilizing relations between objects that we want to model typically produces better results than treating objects independently. Machine learning methods such as graph neural networks that can inherently process graphs can be used in a wide variety of domains. Wherever graphs show up, such as natural language processing, recommender systems, physical sciences, and so on. 